Stop. I think I found something. What did you find? No way. Wow. Man, 2,000 years, so this could be the thing. Wait, it's something big and it's huge. It's like a square and it's a rock. This could be a temple rock. You know, if they, the synagogue is right there. So if they were, took it by the boat or something, they dropped it. I don't know, he's as an anchor. I don't know, but this is huge. Wait a second. Oh. Get it out, get it out. Oh. Oh. That's concrete. Today, we are visiting Magdala, the town of Mary Magdalene. Archaeologists have evidence that Magdala was in fact a town on the regularly traveled path to Capernaum, which Jesus and many others would have taken. A first century Jewish town from the times of Jesus. That's right. They excavated this place in 2009. So just a few years ago, we got mikveys, ritual baths, rooms, almost a full city excavated only a few years ago. This has been buried for 2,000 years. Quite incredible. So the mikveh is you go down on one side, you bathe in the water, you get purified, and then you walk out. Usually they have, for the more fancy ones, they have two sets of stairs so you can walk out and you don't touch a defiled person on the way out. Unless it's a private one, they are not in, a, in that uh, fear of colliding with somebody who is defiled. So you'd go down defiled, get purified in the water, come out clean. Here, they also found the most ancient synagogue in Galilee. And take a look how well preserved all the artifacts are. These ruins were actually discovered by the Pontifical Institute of Notre Dame as a result of a project construction of pilgrim accommodations and a sanctuary. The sanctuary is two floors high and is divided into few spaces. A beautiful entrance hall decorated with eight pillars devoted for the female disciples of Jesus then and now. This hall is surrounded by four smaller sanctuary rooms with mosaics on the wall. Although on site there is an original first century synagogue, yet they have built a replica one on the bottom floor that can be used. The main sanctuary has a unique altar, shaped as a first-century fishing boat with a gorgeous view of the Sea of Galilee behind it. The setting takes us back to the time when Jesus preached from the boat. So according to the tradition, the most important economic activity in Magdala during the first century was fishing. Fabius Josephus, the historian from that time, mentions that there was a large fleet of boats right in the harbor of Magdala. And it's interesting because you're saying, well, where's the water, right? If this is the harbor, where's the water? Well, today the level of the lake is the lowest since 1920s. There were years when the lake was much higher than today and the water would come much closer all the way up to here. But nowadays we have to walk quite a distance to get to the water, which is exactly what we're going to do right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. See that tree line? That's where the water used to be three years ago. And today, we have to walk quite far to get to the water. Which can only mean one thing. That potentially, we could find some excavations revealed by all this dry land. Well, this is the Sea of Galilee at its lowest point since 1920. Exposing shores that haven't been walked upon since about 100 years ago. Pretty cool. See any? Archaeological findings? Not. Wait, wait, what is this? Babe, I found something. What is it? That's like an so if you have any idea what this is, leave a comment below and tell us. It doesn't look that old because I don't see that much uh, erosion. So we've got something here. This looks like a shoe from the... Thir what? Where, where? No way. What is it? 
Franklin. So there's the chain. It's really small. Wow. So it's mean it's been here for a long time. So we're walking in the water that Jesus walked on 2,000 years ago. Found something. I think this is ancient Greek. Timberland. Do you see how still it is? I mean, there is not even one single wave or... Like, the only movement is what we are doing here. It's so still. And yet, imagine the story of this being in complete uproar and a storm. I have a friend, Yossi, who told me a story. He used to work in Tiberias. He never believed this lake could have those giant waves, as in the story with Jesus until he saw them for himself and he described them really really big and i've seen some high waves out here as well so we found this rock in the lake of galilee if you would like this rock comment below and tell us i want this rock and we'll ship it to you by the israeli post mail it's not that heavy about half a pound so it should get there might take a while but it'll get there just do not include your email or address in the comments lest you get lots of spam mail. And stalkers. And stalkers. What if five people say they want it? That's a good one. So the first person to make the comment, I want this rock, will get it. So, no, this is not, you guys, it's not what you think. It's not what you think, you guys. This is not trespassing, this is. Sergio is trespassing. In Israel, signs are merely recommendations. So it's more like for go, it's not to go in. That there is... Uh. What did you just do? Confess your actions. Uh, that was a private territory, so I had to get out. I did a good thing. Elijah. Wait, what if somebody lives in there? Moisha. Moisha. He's not home. We'll try him next time. What if we encounter a sinkhole? Keep moving. Oh.